morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I want to read you a well-known verse this morning. It's found in Romans chapter 8 and verse 8. And before I even start to say the words, I'm sure you were uh, reciting this verse. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God and to them who are called according to his purpose. The heading I've given to my little thought this morning is this. Even when everything seems wrong, God can turn it round and make it right. It's not tremendous, and I trust that encourages you immediately this morning. Whatever seems to be wrong at the moment, God can turn it round and make it right. What a great verse we have before us this morning. But surely it can't be true. Look at the promise. It seems to be just impossible. All things, it said, work together for good. Not some things, all things. And it's that little tiny word, all, that amazes me, all things. And that's the, what we've got to grasp this morning. Whatever it is, God is able to make turn it round and make things right. You see, if we want to experience the promise of this verse, then you must fulfill the condition of the verse. For the promise is to those who love God and who are called according to to his purpose. To experience the, the reality of this promise, you must have a relationship with the person, the person of Jesus Christ. And if you do, then you can be going through the darkest days of your life and you can turn them in to the brightest days of your life. Let's look at some example from God's word where this actually happened. What about Samson? Remember Samson? Oh, he had failed God, he had paid the price for his failure. He had lost his strength. He had lost his sight. But he hadn't lost God. God was still there. God was still there for him. And God is still there for you today. They called Samson out to be ridiculed, to be made sport of in front of all the Philistines. But God, through his great power, right when he was needed, just when he was needed, restored his strength, and he experienced the greatest victory of all his life. What a wonderful saviour we serve. God can do that for you today. Remember Moses at the Red Sea? Lord, you've brought us this far. But Pharaoh and his army is right behind us. And in front of us is the, is the Red Sea. We're in an impossible situation. Pharaoh is ready to destroy us. But God opened up the Red Sea, not only to bring victory to Moses and the Israelites, but to bring death to the enemy. They went across on dry land, and the enemy was dealt with immediately. They tried to follow. And can I just say to you this morning, friends, as the enemy of our soul continues to come after us, God is there. God is there to defend us, and God is there to give us victory. Victory was found in God again. What about Mary and Martha? They'd lost Lazarus. Lazarus was dead. Impossible for this situation to be put right. But God spoke. And where there was death, life came and conquered death. And he can come to you in your impossible situation. And victory can be yours. God spoke the word of God. That's what you were needing this morning for your situation. Whatever the situation is, the mighty word of God. Job was told to curse God and die. Curse God and die. But he said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. He said, my redeemer lives. I thank God this morning that my redeemer lives. And if you know Jesus as your Savior and your Lord, your Redeemer lives right now. There, oh, there was Meshach, there was Shadrach, there was Abednego, stood before the furnace. But they didn't stand alone. For God was with them, and they were thrown into the fiery furnace. And there was no hope, but God was their hope. And there in the furnace, there in the heat uh, 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 and the trouble and the trial, God was there with them and protected them and brought them through. And the message I'm trying to get over to you this morning, friends, is no matter what trial, 
or trouble or testing is before you in Christ there is victory for you this day in Christ the victory is yours don't look to the trial look to your Redeemer for his deliverance is guaranteed for all things work together for the good to those who love God and who are called according to his purpose if you love God and you are called according to his purpose and if God be for us, who can be against us? God bless you. I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.